Today we're going to address something that comes up often, and that is the subject of how to handle punctuation within and around parentheses. Situation number one, sentences that stand alone within parentheses. I've found all my examples in this article by Michael Schulman. Sitting on a leather couch, she told Bart about her studies at Columbia, period, open paren. She was a drama major, period, close paren. Okay, situation number two. Elements of a sentence in parentheses within a longer sentence. Now here's an example. Hollywood has piled on with serious movies like Dallas Buyers Club and The Danish Girl, open paren, about Lily Elba, one of the first transgender women to undergo sex reassignment surgery, close paren, comma. When elements of a sentence in parentheses are buried inside a longer sentence, the punctuation picks up after the closed paren. Situation number three, several sentences in quotation marks within a parentheses inside a longer sentence. A Japanese photographer snapped away offering monosyllabic feedback, open paren, open quote, nice, period, good, period, good, period, yep, close quote, close paren, as she posed in a faux fur coat that exposed a vertical sliver of pale torso. Although there are several sentences within the parens with periods, these of course are just one word sentences. Nice, good, good, yep. The last one does not have a period within the parentheses. If you put a period there, it would just stop the whole flow of the sentence. So by not having the period, you know the sentence is going to continue. It doesn't get much more complicated than that. Situation number four, parentheses within quotations. Sometimes you come upon something like a song title. So this sentence is about RuPaul, who achieved crossover success with the hit single, open quote, supermodel, open paren. You, you better work. work, close paren, period, close quote. In New Yorker style, a song title is in quotation marks. The parentheses is part of the song title, so that's also within the quotation marks, and it's at the end of a sentence, so the period comes after the parenthesis and before the quotation mark. That's how we do it at the New Yorker and in most of America. When you read the magazine, you'll notice parentheses employed in all kinds of different ways but remember to notice the punctuation before and after. Thank you. Good luck.